Hey folks, welcome back. Today I'm in the process of installing a new radio in my wife's van. Uh, if you didn't already know, the town and countries, uh, Chrysler town and countries are known to have the radios go out. Uh, now I don't know if all of them go out, but I know that uh, it's a big enough problem where there's people on the forums trying to figure out what the problem and how to fix it. And I don't believe to date that someone's anyone's come up with a fix or to the radio itself. Uh, but this is a known problem along with the tapping with the engine, which is what I kind of uh, was dealing with on the last few videos. Uh, also the, um, the flywheel, which wound up being the problem with my engine replacements there. So, but real quick, I think I may have figured out the culprit or part of the culprit to the radio issue. Uh, and I'll tell you what happened. I installed a new radio yesterday and uh, I, I, I connected my, originally I didn't connect my accessory wire to it. I connected just the red, uh, but last night I went in there and, and connected the accessory wire, which is the blue wire on the harness here. Let me see if I can, I'm looking through the camera, so I apologize. The blue and white wire on the harness here is your accessory wire. So what that means is <clears throat> this wire provides power to the radio. And if you've got a radio that turns on automatically, it allows the radio to turn on like your factory radio would do. And, you know, and the, and the, green, and the uh, yellow wire here, I believe, all is like your memory wire. So it, it, it produces power all the time along with your red. It produces power all the time. So your, your memory, your settings, uh, and your radio... Sorry about that noise, folks. So your settings will automatically be saved. So you, you got power going to your radio, uh, protecting your settings. Then you got your, like almost like your on-off switch is what this blue blue and white wire is, kind of like an on-off switch. Um, so when you turn your accessories on, your, you know, your thing over to your accessories here, it turns your radio on. If you got your radio, you know, already on, you know, you don't have to switch off. Um, now on the harness here, what this is, and I'm gonna get back to what I was trying to tell you folks here in a second, but what the wire is on your harness is this white and red wire, I believe it is, right here. So you see two wires there, but on this, on this, on this $64 plug-in harness for a non-factory radio, which is what this cost me, it's the blue and white wire there. Then you got your pink over there, you got your blue and white. So over here you got your white and red and you got a white and something else. And then of course you got your yellow, which just coincides with the yellow here. So basically when you turn your switch on, a power goes through the blue, constant power, which triggers your radio to turn on and stay on. All right, so now we're gonna get to the part where, uh, what happened to my wife last night on the way to work. What was going on with the with the original radio, uh, folks? And this may be where, it, of course, if you don't own one of these vans, it's not this this video is not going to do you any good. So, um, is when she would put it in reverse for the backup camera to come on, it would glitch and it would be like a little static in the in the screen, and it would start turning colors over time. And then it, it went from doing that to doing other things, and eventually the the camera went out, and the radio still played. And then a few months later, whatever, the, the radio went up. My wife's been driving for like a year now without a radio. Uh, so I just got a wild hair yesterday and said, hey, I'm just going to go buy you a cheap radio. At first, I tore up a radio apart trying to figure out what the problem was. I didn't see anything burn up or anything on the circuit board or anything. So, Of course, I'm not a real big electronics person, so I um, went and bought a cheap radio. Going back, so she was on her way to work last night, and when she would she would stop or slow down it would go out almost it would, it would go on it would be on the fritz like her other radio was doing originally uh when she would put put it up in reverse to back up it would go out then she would put it back in drive sometimes it would come back on and sometimes it wouldn't she was driving down the road with nothing not hitting the brakes or anything it would be fine even if she tapped the brakes it wouldn't go out it's when she actually decelerated to stop so i was th i was thinking shortage right it's, it's something causing a short uh, but I can't find a short. I, all my wiring, everything's everything's wired up right. Everything's uh, put together fine. 
So, folks, you you folks that are looking for the, the solution to this problem, the only thing I can say on this van, at least, I can't speak for every van, is when I unhook the blue and white wire on off the harness, which is this white and red wire from the factory, because this is the factory plug here. This is the adapter that goes into my blue and white. So when I bypass this white and red wire, I don't have any issues. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to tell you folks is if you're having, if you still have a factory radio and it's still working, but it's going on the fritz, I would try to figure out a way to bypass that white and red wire there to keep your radio from going out. I'm thinking that eventually what happened was the short, I think it's a short, I think it's a short in this wire from the ignition somewhere. And it probably, in all honesty, stems from the ignition down here. Uh, because it's, it's it's happening in at a bunch of vans. So it's not, I don't, it, it can't be just a wire. If it's just a wire, it wouldn't be in every van. So it's, it's probably coming from the ignition, the accessory switch on the ignition. But bypass that wire, at least this is something I, if I still had the radio in my van and it still worked, I would try to bypass that. I'm not telling you folks what to do. I'm just telling you what I would do. It'd keep me from buying another couple hundred dollar radio. Uh, but that's the problem on this van right here right now is that. Um, now it could be, you know, obviously it could be stemming from the backup camera or something like that, but it's called that wire is what's causing my problem. So I'm bypassing that wire. I'm not using that wire. I'm using a different, different source. And so far, so good. I'll give you folks an update here. Uh, well, matter of fact, I won't give you an update unless I'm having more problems with it. Then I'll give you an update. All right, folks, I hope this helps someone out with one of these vans. I know this is kind of a brand specific type video, but hey, I'm here to help people best I can. Um, and I know this is a, a major topic for, uh, for the forums, at least for this van here, folks. All right, well, like, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions about this, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.